Hello everyone, it's Jackie Rose with JackiesRamblings.com and DirtPornoMore.com. I'm having a cheese sandwich, a boost, and some Coke. Coca-Cola. The soda. Let's see. This isn't really a mukbang, I don't think. I just want to say, I can't have onions. Which makes me so sad because I can't chew into them yet. Uh, I can have hamburgers. I had a, a Burger King sandwich or hamburger, but I cannot chew in the onions and I'm so sad because <laughs> onions are like my, I love onions. They're my favorite thing in the world. This is my breakfast or brunch, I guess. I don't like breakfast foods that much because they don't make you full, like pancakes or muffins or any of that crap. But I know this probably won't make me full because I don't. We have ham, but I've been really good about not eating ham, so I'm not eating ham or pork, period. So I'm just having a, che a monster cheese sandwich with mayo. Um. Yeah, I've been really good about cutting it out. I'm proud of myself. Kind of want to do the elimination diet. And pork I want to keep no matter what. No pork. So. Cheese sandwich it is. Um, a few days ago I decluttered. Which was nice. Because I needed it. We donate a lot to the thrift store and the food bank. I know I haven't done a video in a couple of days. Oh, I just don't want to overdo it. And I don't know. I just don't. I'm on my computer right now, which seems to upload faster than my phone. The crust to eat is still kind of tricky. I can't wait till I go get my hard reliner for my denture. I'm still a little sore. I am going to do a separate denture video on my experience and tips. So that will come later, but I'm going to wait till after I see my dentist again in a couple weeks. So that you can get like the full breakdown. But, I think they are pretty. And once I get through the, the soreness, and I get my hard reliner, then I can eat even more normal again. But I think I'm doing pretty good for being at day... I'm keeping track of how long since I've had them. Uh, let's see, I'm at day... I keep track of a lot of stuff. Uh -oh. I'm at day 18 with dentures since I got my E-Day, they call it. So, yeah. And I'm going to see my dentist on day 29 of dentures, so it's a full month. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's an experience. I kind of want to talk about some other stuff, but I don't. Like... For anyone who's followed me for a bit, I don't know if you noticed when I had to post it those few months and I kind of want to talk about it, but I don't. Um, I just want to say my 2018 though was interesting. Things happened I didn't expect to happen. And uh, I was a basket case at one point and everything so that's the part that's the time that I didn't post for a few months so yeah that's the time I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna later post about it or not so today is New Year's Eve I have no plans it's just for me another day next week I'm gonna be hella busy though
We had. Oh, I'm just gonna be so busy. And then a week after, I kind of I'm gonna be busy too with doctors, doctor and dentist appointments, and now I'm still contemplating what kind of job I want to get. I have real anxiety about that too, about working and. Well, no, I'm just totally freaking out, you know. Which has never happened to me really before, so this is kind of new for me. And I have a bunch of legitimate reasons, but I do want to get a job again. I'm going to go somewhere where I love, where I don't, you know, is. Uh, Then we have all this outside stuff going on in the world and it's just like adds to your stress level. Um, that's why so many people, I think a lot of people nowadays suffer from anxiety and depression. A lot, you know. And I hate it when other people say, oh, but you're not depressed because you don't do this or this or you don't have anxiety because you don't know everybody's situation, you know. I see that a lot, like when they do articles about it or something on Facebook, and it's like, who are you to tell someone how they feel, you know? Like I said before, I've never really suffered this bad as anxiety as I do now, so. Usually it used to be just about driving, and it just kind of escalated everywhere. Because I still hate driving, that's for fact. I'm glad I'm taking the lift more. You know, I won't take Uber. I don't really trust Uber too much. But I still have the app downloaded. Oh. Monster cheese is so good. Oh, it really sucks about the onions, so. Mm. I have mustard mayo and monster cheese on wheat bread. I hope this new year is better though. But everything is, I mean, it's also about how you react to it. So, you know, I try to be objective about everything. So, yeah. This is good. Yeah, my 2018 was interesting. I'm going to kind of go over my goals, I guess, for 2019. Um, I pray a lot, but I do want to read the Bible more. Um, I want to get a job, like I said, but I'm having like mixed emotions about that. I want to pay off my debt. I don't have that much debt, so I want to pay it off. I want to save. Definitely want to save. Um, I want to work out. I want to eat 50% vegan, vegetarian. I'm going to save vegetarian. I don't want to overwhelm myself. And I do want to work out more. Oh, and I want to work on my collage again. I have a collage that I've had forever. Well, I used to like to do new collages every year. And, uh, and instead of doing a new one, at first I thought I was going to do a new one. I'm like, no, because I've, I've seen movies where they just add on top of the collage, you know, and I was trying to do it based on how I feel. So, and I think I have plenty of magazines for it. If not, I can always get more. It's no big deal. But, uh, but yeah, I think I want to work on it again, you know, excuse me. I 
Well, we're at 10 minutes, yo. So I'm going to cut you all off. Um, you all have a happy new year. And I guess I'll see you in 2019. Adios.